Hi everybody, welcome to the Public Building Commission meeting tonight on uh, June 16th of uh, 2020. I'd like to call the meeting to order at uh, 710 if I could. All right, <coughs> um, Alicia had sent the meeting minutes out to the, to the group. I, if we could take a minute to review the meeting minutes and just uh, let me know if there's any questions, comments, or edits that need to be made. Uh, this is JD. I sent a note to Alicia. It, the, the date of those meet, meeting minutes is wrong. It should be May something. Okay, yeah. Okay. I'll change that. Thanks, JD. Steve, this is Steve Kirby. Did you forward my comments? I had, yes. Did you incorporate those, Alicia, into the... Um... I did, yes. Yeah. Any questions, comments, ob observations? No, I don't have any. No. Nope. Okay with me. All right. I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes as uh, as written with one edit on uh, the date change to uh, May no uh, May twenty first, twenty twenty. Is there a motion to approve? I mean, is there a second? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. Alicia, you want to go through the uh, roll call? So, um, Larry? Yes. Ed? It's not on it's yet. It's not here. Okay. Carl? Yes. Stephanie's not here, correct? Correct. Steven? Yes. And Linda? Yes. And JD? John Miller? JD? Yes. Great. All right, you're nice. So moved. Thank you. Um, Steve, I do have one comment for future minutes. Yes. <clears throat> you may already have picked up on it, but Mike Stewart has retired. And. Mark Thompson is now chief. Okay. So for future, you might want to make that and make a note of that for future. Good observation. Thanks. Thanks, Mark. Hi, who just joined? Hey guys, it's Stephanie. I'm sorry. Okay. No, oh. no problem. Stephanie. Thanks for joining in. Just in time. All right. Uh, so moving on here, we'll uh, open up the first item on the agenda here, which is. Uh, Discussion and an overview of where we're at with the the senior center project over on um, the old Gates property. So I'll turn it over to Steve Kirby, the um, the OPM from Vertex. Okay, thank you, Steve. Uh, good evening. Um, I'll go through an update first, and then I did issue a progress uh, photo documentation. Hopefully, you you have it. Um, as far as the senior center progress goes, the the, um, the on-site uh, drainage, the storm drainage systems are ongoing. Uh, we've actually had uh, Merrill Engineers, who is the consultant for the planning board, uh, on-site a, a couple times already to review the, um, the storm retention basins as is required for the uh, planning board decision. Uh, the sewer tie-in to First Parish is complete. Uh, they're working on site lighting, and uh, I don't know if anybody's gone by lately, but the framers had, had started uh, for the last week and a half. Um, they panelized uh, a lot of the, uh, the structure, so it came in on, on, a, on a flatbed. Uh, the first floor walls are up 
Um, they've been working on the second floor deck, and we'll, we'll proceed to the second floor walls. So, um, and, so, and some miscellaneous pieces of steel have been also installed. We have a, a piece of steel for the operable petition. So the building is going up um, uh, fairly quickly. They do have a good sized crew. Uh, moving over, and that's pretty much <clears throat> what's going on in the senior center right now. The, uh, the recreation center renovation, uh, the south, um, the tennis, you're facing the tennis court, the, the new stairs, ramp, and door uh, finally got opened up uh, today for use Great. by the, uh, the rec center office. Um, the, uh, uh, the abatement is complete. Uh, temporary petitions have been installed to um, section off the work area from the occupied area. Uh, interior demo uh, is, is mostly complete. Um, exterior demo of the entry ramp and stairs is complete. Uh, the plumbers have started to uh, investigate their rough ends. Um, obviously, we found some unexpected things behind walls because if, if those are all glaze block masonry walls in there um, we might have to do some rerouting uh, we were uh, we had a meeting with the plumbing foreman uh, last week after the, the job meeting along with um, Rachel Young from uh, Bardman to uh, to look at some some issues but uh, we we certainly anticipated we would we would have some potential rooting uh, issues. Uh, once we got walls opened, um, the fence uh, for the um, the north parking lot has been relocated to to Cudworth, um, and the um, uh, the framing for the second floor men's the raised floor and the ramp uh, is is ongoing, and uh, the roofers have been up on the gym roof. Uh, they've got. Um, the, the north and south edge uh, complete, which uh, in, involved cutting back uh, approximately 10 to 12 feet from the roof edge, uh, removing that roofing. Uh, we checked all the deck underneath. There was no deck that had to be replaced. We okay. did have a unit price and a, and a, uh, a small quantity of square footage included in the contract, um, but it looks at this point we don't have to use it. Um, new um, Snow guards have been installed and new gutters and downspouts on both the north and south side have been installed. Also, the roof on the high uh, the section where the, where the mechanical hey, who just um, called in? equipment is, has been um, uh, replaced. Uh, we are looking at, at uh, reworking a roof drain. There was an existing roof drain up there that was not operable and may, may have caused some leakage that had occurred in the gym. Uh, so we're we're looking to um, uh, replace that with a drain insert, as opposed to a, a new drain body, only because of access issues to get to that that drain right. and the piping, which it actually ends up being above the operable petition pocket that that's in the gym itself. Um, <coughs> if you if everybody can go to the, the photo documentation, I'll go through this uh, relatively quickly. Um, Steve, wait, hold on a sec. Why did my foot fell asleep? And I have to turn on the projector. So okay, we got to turn on that projector. While we're doing that, Steve, I just said, so underground, you're still working on, you know, sewer piping, draining, and, um, and, and, and catch basins and things right. like that. Yeah. The, the sewer, sewer, the sewer, uh, sewer is done now. It, okay. we're, we're connected uh, in, on First Power Street. They are still working on <clears throat> the storm drainage, and uh, and actually they've started doing um, the underground uh, uh, installation for site lighting. Okay. So uh, the the drainage on site is extensive. So that that's been an ongoing right, right. effort. Uh, you know, uh, and then, and then they they continue to prep for for grading because they they want to tentatively uh, put down binder uh, the second week of July. Okay, so not not too too much longer. Or, no, we just no, been getting a couple they, communications. They want to bind, on, binder the week of the 13th of July. Um, the, the, the driveway from First Parish all the way back to the the, um, the rear of the B1. Okay, we just had a couple. They don't, they don't think they'll. 
we just right. had a couple communications on you know vibration and compaction and things like that. I, I yes, I, I'm I'm fully aware of of the, the communications. You know, we've we've had UTS come back in. Um, I don't have the date exact date, but they did come in and do more testing. Um, you know, I I understand the concern, um, but. We are, we're meeting what, what, the, what the contractual requirements are for when vibration is, is being used, and that, that's when the roller is actually turned on to vibration. That's right. when they have UTS testing. The rest of the time, it's, it's really just equipment, um, you know, moving back and forth. And, it, yeah, it is, is it noisy? Yes, it is. Um, right. You know, there was, they had a whole ram there that was breaking up a rock that, that had to be done. That that was certainly noisy. I was there that day. I, I know sure. it was. Um, I just you know. Okay. So, anyways, you're taking vibrations and, and making sure we're within the specification of the of the design and architects and everything. Correct. Okay. And those and those are just. Steve, this is. Go ahead, Larry. JD, with a JD. real quick question, yep. Steve. Um, uh, is is abatement done interior and exterior at the rec department? That's correct. Uh, unless unless we find something that that uh, that's hidden in a wall, everything that we 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 know ha has been abated. Awesome. Okay. Are you are you ready with the? Um, Still working on it. The projector. Should be ready. Oh, okay. Any. Any other questions then? Um, so the new the gym and everything. I, they, I'm assuming when will they when will they start working on the elevator and things? Is that is that a do they need to drill for the shaft on that and everything or is that just a regular? The, the shaft. I, I, I apologize. The shaft has been drilled and they actually poured the, the base slab oh, okay. uh, this afternoon. Oh great. Okay. So that's so that that whole area that whole area. Oh, part of the demolition is they have broken through. Um, you know, both on the first floor and the second floor for what's going to be the uh, eventual uh, elevator doors. Oh, okay, great. All right, so that's they're, they're moving along pretty. pretty that's nice all. That's that. all in the front of, front of that building. Okay. Um, and, and, and while they're still setting up, I, I can I can sort of go over the issue that we found last week. Uh, uh, Mark Glancy had uh, complained about a a smell in the lower level of the. Uh, the gym, mm. uh, which we went and investigated, ultimately that that ended up being the fact that they opened a room, a shower room for some life lifeguard equipment, and those drains had not been, um, they had dried up. The, you know, the, the uh, they needed to be filled with water, and there's actually a, there was a toilet in there that was actually broken. So. Um, that was where they were getting the sewer gas smell from, from that room. But we had gone down into the crawl space um, below the, 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 the gym itself and discovered a number of old drainage piping that has uh, been deteriorated and actually have cracked. I do have some photos with, in the photo doc. Okay, yeah, there's but, photos um, The... Uh, it, it, it's extensive, but you know, essentially, from what we can tell, sort of lining ourselves up, is a, a lot of these drains are for the uh, the shower and locker rooms, which are not being used. So at, at some point, it appears that you know they may have they may have filled up with some debris, maybe got some water, uh, you know, walked into them and might have frozen and split, um, just based on on the looks of them. Um, I think if the if the gym ever gets repurposed into something, it probably won't be a locker room or or showers anymore. So that all that piping would be removed anyways. Um, the only concern we have is um, are, are are any of our active roof leaders tied into these? And yeah. we don't think so, just because of the diameter of the pipe. So they just standard cast iron? Are they are they galvanized or what? What are they? They're cast. Cast iron. Right. Yeah. Um, we're up and running with the photos you can, here. If you want to. Okay. All right. Way. So um, the first photo. This goes back a few weeks. This is when they were pouring 
kind of this uh, concrete slab on grade for the senior center. Uh, they got the pump truck there and a number of guys, um, uh, you know, placing the, the, the concrete. Um, the in, in, in the far view of that, uh, the yellow is the vapor barrier. That's, that's installed. Um, we, we went with the fiber mesh concrete, so there is, there is no wire mesh in it. It's, it's mixed in with the concrete itself. Um, uh, page three has just another view of uh, and further progress on nice. on that slab. Uh, you get a closer view of that vapor barrier, and you can see the uh, elevator shaft in the in, on the on the left hand side. Um, the page four is the uh, a finisher with the power trowel uh, finishing uh, uh, the concrete. <laughs> yeah, someone. Just horrible. Someone watching that. Uh, page five. Uh, that's a photo of the oil water separator that we had to um, uh, give the uh, approve a change order for based on the uh, state uh, plumbing code change. Uh, that that services the sub pump that's in the elevator pit. You didn't want to see what you, your money bought you. That's good. Um, page six is a photo of the uh, storm uh, drainage retention basin, SRB1A. There's a number of these that are uh, scattered out throughout the site. <clears throat> this is uh, one. Of, uh, this is the item that that Merrill uh, Engineers comes out uh, on behalf of the planning board. They uh, they inspect the base before this this um, um, the, the um, Chambers and the stone goes in, and then they come in to look at it once it's once it's completed. They've they've been out twice now with with no issues. That's good. Can you? This is this is the one that's located uh, on the west side of the property. You can see the houses in the background. Um, page uh, the next page is uh, from last week. This is uh, framing of the first floor walls, um, taken from the uh, the B ring roof. Is a good overview of of the uh, first floor of the senior center. A little bit closer view of the same thing. The next page eight. So Steve, as you noticed, so uh, they're building eight. a lot of these walls off site and bringing them in and, and, and hanging them. I mean, that's that's going to save a lot of time and effort, and noise and disruption on the site. I would imagine. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. I mean, it's you know, it's sort of the sort of in between uh, stick built and uh, modular. Can someone go on mute? Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Um, page nine is a, is a view of the west elevation, which is what you see as you come in, eventually come into the new driveway. Um, you know, they, they, what they've done is they've, as they put it up, they've, they've already got handrails up on the, uh, on the upper section for when they when they start working on the second floor. Um, page ten is a, a, just a view of the um, of the multi-purpose room, giving you an idea of the size, uh, and that says it's facing the B wing, facing south. Nice, lots of windows. Looks good. Yep. Uh, page eleven. Uh, this is this from this week. Uh, they've started to install the steel and the floor joists for the second uh, second floor deck. Those uh, are all prefab stretch trusses too. I'm sure that the truss is coming on a truck too. Yes. Yep. Good. Yep. Uh, page twelve. Just just another view. Um, you got a, a, an LVL beam. Um, and you can you can see the the four trusses um, uh, behind that. Uh, that is a uh, that's uh, a view of, of the uh, admin office area. Uh, page thirteen is uh, going back to the multi-purpose room facing south towards the B ring, and you can see all the uh, the second floor joists uh, installed. The upper section of that photo. Uh, 
Um, page 14, uh, this is uh, when they were in the process of uh, demolishing the gym main entry stairs and ramp with the with the O-ramp. You can see that the canopy uh, the canopy roof has already been removed and shipped back flush with the with the brick wall. And the openings for the uh, the elevated door have been started. Uh, the next page um, 15 is a view of uh, of the interior demolition on the second floor lobby. Um, that room that's open up right now was a toilet room. Previously, yeah. And you can see the glazed block. But we do have some issues where uh, the glazed block. If, if you look at the, the beige yellow glazed block as it's up against the, the poured in place concrete, there is really no uh, restraint at the top of that. And in some cases, we look and there's, there's no ties uh, on that wall. So. The structural engineer has come out. They, they are going to re require some seismic restraint at the top of the uh, of these walls, which will be a, a future change order. But um, uh, code code requires it now. Um, page 16, uh, just another view of uh, the guy uh, demolishing the, the front entry stairs and and um, entry uh, lab. That's from the second floor window. Uh, page 17 is a view of the uh, the roofers on the roof. Uh, they've got their their area um, uh, safed off with the with the flags, and they uh, you can see that they they've got the uh, man lift that they're bringing materials up. Um, they didn't use that, or they also had an extension ladder. They were not going through the building to access the roof. Uh, Page 18 is a, a view of the raised floor that is going to be the future men's uh, toilet room. Um, the reason that it's raised is because you access it from the uh, corridor coming from the A-wing, which is uh, three risers higher than the, the lobby of the gym. So uh, the entry, entry door is off of that higher floor, so we, we have to raise that. Um, the men's room floor to accommodate that. Uh, okay, now uh, page 19, uh, this is uh, yeah, a view of, of the uh, piping down in the crawl space. Uh, you can see the split there from the from the bell uh, going to the to the right. Uh, page 20, that's a vertical drain going up through the floor slab into um, into the gym area, uh, it's you know it's deteriorated. It, it's got pieces slagging off of it. Um, it's cracked. Um, page 21. I mean that's that's it's a very large crack, um, and I, you can't really see it from from this photo. But there is there's essentially debris in the bottom half of this pipe. Uh -huh. So it wasn't probably really draining that well to begin with, um, and it could that could be accumulations of soap or whatever, and probably some of the, the pipe itself. Right. And then uh, I think this is the last one. Uh, Twenty-two is it just another view of the pipe, and you can see where that that bell end is is, is you know split in at least three places. Yeah, that's kind um, of indicative of a of a freezing problem, like you said. That's that's kind of Right. It, it, it looks like this is almost, I didn't put a, a level on it, but there's, there's almost minimal pitch on these, so they may, it may have been an issue with, with getting drainage, and if there was anything that, you know, held up any kind of water flow in there, water, water stayed in that, in that pipe, then, you know, there's no heat down there, so yeah. it, it, it might be getting a little bit from above, but not a lot. That, that does look like a, a freeze situation over years. Okay, so you said your path forward is piping. Is you going to assess it and assess the current rain leaders and get a whole idea of what's going on down there in a in a change order or proposal together? Well, no, it, we're only we're only going to deal with it if it affects the, the work that we're doing. If if it doesn't, and I think the majority of it doesn't, it, it's just something for the town to know for for the future. Okay. 
you know, uh, if, if, if there's no sense in, in changing piping that goes to a, a shower stall that's never going to be used again. Right. You know, if, if it does, you know, if there's a plan to open that up for lockers and showers and, and you know, uh, the toilet rooms that are that are within the, the lockers, then this is going to be number one on, on the list of, of, of whatever that renovation is going to be, is to right. redo all this piping. So none of those affect the bathrooms that are going in the lower and upper level there in the, in the lobbies? As far as we can tell, no, but we, that, that's, that, that, it, it's, it's, we want to make sure they're not affecting the roof drain that we're, we're, we're sort of reusing and, and, you know, changing, uh, really only changing the bodies up on, on the roof. We want to make sure that that, that's not an issue and what we're tying into for the, uh, the, the, the women's and the men's room up on the second floor. Okay. So, and so, so far we, we have not found that, that, that that's, uh, anything's been affected there. Okay. But it's, it's ongoing investigation. So how do you how do you feel this project is is going on schedule wise? I mean, you think it's um, right now the the um, the contractor um, is, is still um, um, stating he's on schedule. As a matter of fact, he had mentioned a couple of weeks ago they thought they were about five days ahead, um, and I think they're 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 doing well with the with the framers. Um, Putting the building up, uh, and I don't want to jinx that at all, but it, it seems to be going going well there. Um, so, I, I, at a minimum, right now they're they're on time. I would say for okay. our our mid January substantial completion. Okay. And you don't see any big uh, show stoppers on the on the on the gym end of the project right now, right? Not right now, no. Okay. And nope. I know you guys are still digging into the building, so could be more to come. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, we, you know, we we we, we were did well in the front entry. We didn't find anything in it strange there. Um, that you know that was a concern always. So you know they're starting to, to pour new concrete. That's that's always a good sign um, that we can in uh, you know that we. We've uh, uncovered areas that we were unknown before, and we haven't found anything okay. unusual. So, How you guys um, been doing with COVID compliance and, and all that stuff? Well, that's my next item. Um, okay. COVID nineteen. Uh, so far, no no issues. Uh, haven't haven't had anything alerted as being an extraordinary long lead time because of COVID. Uh, everybody's uh, doing social distancing and, and wearing face masks. We're still doing um, the job meetings by, you know, virtual meetings slash conference call. Uh, even if we're we're on the site itself, um, you know, they, we're in separate trailers or we're in separate, you know, opposite ends of, t of, of tables or in other rooms within the trailer um, to maintain that distancing. Um, you know, and when you know, eventually, when you have to walk and look at things, you know, we were, were walk, you know, walking through the, the rec center last week. You know, everybody's keeping their their distance and wearing their face masks. So um, uh, there's uh, there's been no no issues, and 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 no one has gone home sick. There's been no one that has stated they don't feel good. Uh, the contractor is is. Asking those questions on a daily basis, they actually have the guys come in and, and sign in um, in the morning um, uh, when they come to the to the job site, so they know who's there. Okay. So. How's the relationship going, been going with the GC and the subs and everybody? Um, seems to be okay. We haven't heard of any um, any major strife or anything. Um, you know, they've 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 been having coordination meetings with with the subs as, you know especially now that we're getting uh, having a building that's going to be um, enclosed and the mechanical guys can start running their duct and piping and heat pipe and electrical and so forth so um, uh, hasn't been there hasn't been any real issues no that have been brought up that's great 
I guess my last question. And in uh, budget, I know we, we haven't had many change orders. I know, you know, it's a new building going up. Um, are you doing all right in budget? Yes, and and and, and actually, if, if that that's that's my next topic. We do have change okay. order number four um, to um, to approve uh, tonight, and uh, this is this is a good one. You don't always get this. This is a a credit of eighty thousand five hundred ninety nine dollars. Wow, we've been waiting. I've been waiting for this one since last meeting. <laughs> Exciting. Yeah, the this is this is. So all five are, are credit PCOs. Uh, we have we have talked about in the past. Um, in the past I went over them, but we were still in negotiations to get to the to where we where we thought it should be. Um, going through it quickly, um, change order eight R one was to delete some fire dampers that weren't required for seven hundred eighteen forty four cents. PCO 11R1 was to delete some seismic restraint for HVAC that wasn't required be, uh, based on the code. That was 3,183.51. PCO 13R1 was for deletion of a drainage cleanout on the east side of the senior center uh, that was uh, deemed uh, not required. That was $783.22 credit. Uh, 15 R1 was a revision in the masonry repair work that was needed at the B wing. Um, the architect uh, carried more work than was actually necessary. Uh, so that was a credit of $1,572.99. And then PCO 16 is the adjustment for the uh, C wing foundation damp proofing um, that was coated with uh, asbestos. Um, Asbestos containing damp proofing. Uh, there was a, a, a unit price to uh, uh, a quantity that was to be carried in the base bid. They um, they didn't reach that quantity, and there was a unit price credit, uh, which uh, ultimately totaled seventy four thousand three hundred and forty one dollars eighty cents. Um, and you know we we knew that was coming. Uh, we just needed to get the waste manifest back that had the actual a tonnage that was disposed of, and then it was sim simply became a, a math problem to calculate the uh, the credit. So, um, so you're not going to see a, a total credit change order that often, but we have one now. No, it's a that was a good job negotiating and, and getting that piece of work done. In the turn, of, you know, a little over seventy-four thousand dollars. That was that was a good one. Thank you. So this actually brings us back almost uh, uh, basically to even up with our original contingency amount, even though we've had some change order ads, which haven't been much. No. Um, we're, you know, again, budget, so getting back to your, your question, budget-wise, contingency is still well intact. So Great. Um, if, you, if you could uh, vote to approve this, I would appreciate it. Sure. Any questions or comments from the board, I guess, on the, what's been discussed so far or, or on the specific change order? <laughs> Someone, uh, someone's playing some music here. Hello? Can someone mute their phone uh, or mute the music? Great. Um, is there any questions or comments from the board or anybody that, that has any uh, questions for Steve? Not me. Can I ask a question? Sure. Dave Cedroni, WATD. Who's this speaking? Who's, who's just talking about Who's about on the that? call? This is Dave Cedroni, WATD News. Just wondering who, was, who just made that, um, uh, who, who was just speaking. Sir, this isn't a, this isn't a public. I don't know how you got the numbers, sir. This isn't a. It's a televised uh, closed meeting. It was on the situate board of selectmen's um, agenda. The number was on it. Public. Okay. The situate. This, this is situate. Yes. It's not the okay. selectmen's meeting, though. No. Which me, this not this this isn't the board of selectmen's meeting. No, it's a public billing no. commission meeting. Luckily, right. it was a 5, 5.30 day. Oh, all right. Thanks, Jim. 
Okay. <laughs> nice to talk to you. <laughs> Good, okay. I know where the music is coming from. I know, right? Uh, so, any other questions or comments on the project so far, or what's been covered? No, no I don't have any. Okay. No, I don't either. How about on the specific chain order for for I know you know credits are always a good thing. Any any questions or comments on the the credits here? None. Okay. All right. Nope. <clears throat> I'd like to make a motion to approve uh, change order number four for PCOs number eight R one for bulletin number 11, fire dampers revision in the amount of $718.44. Uh, PCO number 11 R1, that's RFI number 39, deletion of seismic restraints in the amount of $3,183.51. Uh, PCO number 13 R1, bulletin number 15, deletion of drainage cleanout revisions in the amount of $783.22. PCO number 15 R1, bulletin number 14, revis revised masonry repair at B Wing in the amount of $1,572.99. And lastly, PCO number 16, adjustment for C Wing damp proofing manifest in the amount of $74,000. Three hundred forty-one dollars and eighty cents, bringing the total credit of the change order number four to eighty thousand five hundred ninety-nine dollars and ninety-six cents. Is there a second? Second. So seconded by Carl. Um, Alicia, if you could do a roll call, that'd be great. Stephanie Holland. Aye. Larry Gomari. Aye. Paul Campagna? Yes. Linda Hayes? Yes. John Miller? Yes. And Stephen Cherry? Uh, yes. Great. So all in favor and uh, unanimous. So so, uh, so move. Great. Thanks for that, Steve. That was, that was a good credit. Appreciate it. Okay. Um, just to give you... Uh, uh, a little preview. Uh, we are going to be having uh, some ads. Um, that we, we don't we don't get credits that often, but we are going to uh, have some ads. We they, they're not ready for approval yet, but just as a as as a preview, um, we we have rearranged some bollard lighting. So uh, there's going to be a credit for some, but we're, there's going to be an ad for um, uh, for some. Some others we're we're, we're going to have some bollards that in the in the front of the building that have uh, light fixtures on them and some that don't. Um, so there's I, I, that hasn't even been been really priced yet. I don't think it's going to be a lot because of uh, we are deleting some work, but that is a future PCO. Uh, we did um, we did revise the drainage at the Bocce Court. Uh, there was an under drain that that needed to be installed and so that the bocce court wouldn't uh, get uh, too wet um, so that that in the order of magnitude of sixteen hundred dollars is being reviewed now um, I think I mentioned previously that we found a an old uh, uh, concrete slab on the east side of the, um, the senior center that uh, was a latent condition it was I believe it was like 40 by 50 by uh, two and a half feet thick. That had to be removed. Um, that's, we do have a PCO in on that in, in the order of around 25,000. That's being reviewed for accuracy. Um, we had a couple of uh, boulders that were over a cubic yard that there's a unit price for. Um, that's about $1,050. Um, and then we do have, again, I think I mentioned this we, on a previous meeting, we found that the, the drainage line, the existing drainage piping that ran along the west uh, um, fence line actually um, 
went under the fence after a while as opposed to being uh, completely on the school side of the property. And we were supposed to tie into a portion of that, which we can't. So the engineers had to revise the, um, the drainage layout, which meant they had to add another structure and move some, some piping around. Uh, we've gotten a PCO on that for about 14000 That's also uh, under review. Okay. Um, I had mentioned also the seismic restraint. Um, we do have to put some uh, sheetrock ceilings in the elevator shafts. Um, that was not uh, included on the drawings. That should be relatively small. Um, there's a lighting, an electric panel in the gym that's going to end up being in a closet, and that's what they use to turn the lights off uh, and on in, in the gym, or at least half the gym. So we're looking at um, making the, uh, the switching of the lights a little bit easier. Um, I don't really have a, uh, an idea on that. It, it's the electrical engineers looking at that now. Um, I think uh, I think that's that's it for for, for upcoming uh, PCOs. That again, we're we're reviewing now um, some of them, and some of them uh, haven't been submitted yet. So they'll be they'll be coming up in future meetings. Um, any questions on on future PCOs? No, that's a good that's a good snapshot. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, next item I want to bring, uh, go through is the um, application for payment uh, number five for Delphi Construction. Yep, got it right here. Uh, this is uh, application payment number five goes uh, payment for the month of May. Uh, it totals $487,186.22. Eighty-six dollars and twenty-two cents, which gets them to seventeen point three six percent of the project complete. Uh, the invoice is for cost uh, associated with the senior center for demolition, abatement, concrete, masonry, carpentry, resilient floor, elevator, fire suppression, plumbing, electrical, and site work. For the recreation center, demolition, abatement, concrete, masonry, mist metals elevator, plumbing, electrical, and site work, and then uh, the overall general conditions and change orders. And we vetted that out. Um, their pencil rec was, was more than this, but uh, we went through it with Delphi as to where they were at as of May 31st, and um, we're recommending this for approval. Okay. Yeah, I have your uh, your email uh, <clears throat> or the company, you know, Vertex company letter I have here with, with the approval letter and the review letter. So, yep, um, and, and the architect has certified it. They have, yes, yes. They have. Uh, does the board have any questions or comments on this on this payment, Rick? No, I don't have any. Nope, I do not. No, I do not. No, me. All right. I'd like to make a motion to approve application for payment number five to Delphi Construction for work performed through May 31st, 2020 in the amount of $487,186.22, bringing their total invoice to 17.36% on the project. The invoice is for costs related to senior center and recreation center, demolition and abatement, concrete, masonry, carpentry, resilient flooring, elevator, fire suppression, plumbing, electrical, site work, um, and general conditions and uh, change orders. Is there a second? Second. Second by Larry. If we could do a roll call, Alicia, that'd be great. Anthony? Aye. Carol? Aye. Linda Hayes? Aye. John Miller? Yes. 
Larry? Uh, I thought I said yes. Yeah, it was Carl. Yeah. Carl, we missed. Oh, Carl, sorry. Yeah, and myself. And Stephen Shea. Yep, Carl Campagna said yes. And Stephen Shea is an I. Thank yes. you. So all voted unanimous, uh, so moved. Thank you. Okay, I only got a couple more things uh, yeah. left. Um, just something that's sort of been hanging out there. We had, um, at one time we were gonna have a groundbreaking. It got postponed to COVID last week or maybe even the week before we decided that at this point in, in stage in the project, that we're not gonna have a groundbreaking ceremony. We just have a grand opening. Um, yeah. Yeah. That makes so sense. that won't happen. So we'll and save the invitation, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll just change the words. It'll be fine. Oh, good. <laughs> Use them for the next project. Um, and then the, the, <clears throat> the last thing I have, we, we do have <clears throat> a an amendment number four that's been submitted <clears throat> excuse me, by um, BH&A um, for uh, additional services for two particular items. Um, one is to uh, add a traffic island at the entry to the, uh, at the entry driveway um, to uh, essentially direct the traffic that is coming out of the senior center to do uh, to take a right turn only. Um, and this is due to some of the conversation uh, with the abutters and uh, their group. Um, so this this has to be uh, designed um, inclusive of the traffic consultant, the civil engineer. Um, so I, I, the the amendment total is is uh, nine thousand five hundred twenty five. I did have uh, Joel Bartman break it into uh, the 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 elements of uh, the items. Um, uh, the second item is is to relocate uh, the trash enclosure and trash pad <clears throat> approximately thirty feet thirty five feet from where it is shown originally on the contract drawings, which is. Um, uh, against the, uh, uh, the the soccer field, um, you know, in the uh, just adjacent to the the main driveway, and moving it over to uh, a couple uh, parking spots uh, along the the side of the B wing, uh, which was a a request from from Kevin Kelly to get it away from from the um, the soccer field so it, it doesn't become the uh, you know the trash receptacle for for field well, it's it, it's not that much farther away but it, it it's more well, in, into the into the parking area now so let me know Steve when it's a good time to yeah. maybe weigh in okay, okay. I, I, let me just uh, I'll go through these the, the items okay. and then and then the third part of this is um, in anticipation of having to to go to potentially go to the planning board for for any of these they had a uh, oh, I'm sorry the trash enclosure and pad location that was 1700 uh, the uh, attendance at, at a planning board and, and giving a presentation they also included that at, at 1300 now these the, the the entry drive is a definite the, the, the relocation of the trash enclosure and pad is still not um, finally decided as of yet, am, am I correct in that, Linda? I know you and that, Kevin well, are speaking. Uh, it's correct that I don't think we want to or ne feel we need to move forward unless there's some other comments to the contrary. I mean, Kevin and I started this because he made the astute observation, as he noted, that it was really far away and also abutting the soccer field and really not clear as to, you know, how how we were going to be able to use that, and then without a dumpster, having barrels, etc. But now that it's, and then we wanted to move it, you know, significantly closer to the building, which has become more challenging, or had become more challenging, there's just no place else to put it that seems viable. 
or even frankly that the architect agreed with and that we agreed with. So now that it's become 30 feet, um, it doesn't really seem to meet the same, you know, advantage, have the same advantages that we were looking for. Um, so although it's kind of funny to say this after we just got an $80,000 credit, but it just didn't seem worth um, accruing the additional expense to move it only 30 feet for very little advantage for what we started out with. But, I mean, I can open it up for some discussion. Kevin and I sort of came to this conclusion mostly after his um, walk around and assessment and meeting with the architect last Wednesday. That's how he felt, and I agree. So it, it helped to see some drawings of it, but I guess the gist of it is so, so the dumpster is residing within that parking lot. It's just a matter of whether it's in the parking spaces near the soccer field or the parking spaces near the building, correct? Well, it, yes. it, it's not going to be a dumpster. It, it, they they right. determined that it, it's going to be barrels and it's going to be picked up um, by the DPW. So that was that was one concern about the relocation because the the um, the trash pad now is at an angle to make it easy for uh, a dumpster truck to to approach it. But that that is is, is not going to, going to happen. Um, it, it is just going to be barrels. Um, and what I, what I was looking to do was was to uh, have the the commission approve this as a as a not to exceed uh, amount of ninety five twenty five, and then if we don't do something, then it, it's you know it, it's it's only it's only billing what um, what the element is, and which which may only be the entry driveway redesign. Um, as, as of this afternoon, I. I I didn't know um, whether it was whether the, the trash pad re relocation was a go or no go. All right, uh, so person, my, my you know, person, I think the, the traffic ones are done. I know the board of selectmen talked about it before. I, I think the traffic ones, you know, viable and that's worthwhile. The, the <coughs> trash one, I think, you know, I I think I'd like to see some drawings and some proposals at least. I don't know if the other board members would to to see what we're talking about here, and so we can assess, you know, the kind well, of work, workflows and things like that. There, there, there were, there, I thought I forward those last. There were, there were some just very general um, location. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, site, site location. I got. I, I don't. I don't necessarily want to spend the seventeen hundred dollars to have them design it if we if we don't do it. So. I, no. I mean, I, I can send you the you know the the locations and, and you guys you can see. see where it's proposed to be going now, um, and and the, the other thing about it is, uh, and, and I mentioned this to Kevin too. I said the the trash enclosure as it's designed did not have gates in front of it. It was it was open uh, at the front. Uh, uh, we, we need to put some swing gates on that to, to keep it closed. So at a minimum, we're going to be even if we don't move. The trash enclosure, we, we, we've got to add gates to it. Okay. Otherwise, everybody's going to be using it on the weekend. Yeah. So I guess my end, end question is, is the trash going to move from where it was originally proposed in the drawings? It doesn't have to. I guess it's an aesthetic. It's somewhat of an aesthetic question and or a question of... Um, convenience uh, but the trade-off you know I just don't know if, if it's worth making the change anyone else in the board have any any feelings on this or comments I mean the no, proposal, the only thing, go ahead no, go ahead you go ahead Larry I'm just gonna say um, in the business world, a lot of retail tenants take their trash a lot further than yeah. this original location. <clears throat> as a matter of uh, fact, every single day. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I think I think we might we might know for sure. To, I mean, Kevin Kelly usually attends uh, the, the meetings at least um, you know the job meeting uh, at least virtually. Um, so, uh, I mean, well, if it hinges on him, I can get him. I can get him to call in 
if we want him. But I, I, I definitely know he doesn't think it's it's worth pursuing significant costs yeah, to I change think, it. I think, yeah. I think. Okay. All right, right. I mean, that if that's the latest, then, then that's the latest. That's fine. It, it's fine with me. Okay. So it sounds like it's going to stay where it is. So, so yeah, I mean, you can, you know, the traffic one's probably worthwhile. I mean, I, I think doing a not to exceed the 95-25 is probably, is probably the best course of action. Anyone else feel that way? I do. <clears throat> okay. I, I look at at least the whole thing is approved, and if we don't, we don't have them do the, the trash and close it task, then it's, it's just lower. Okay. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve uh, B plus, BH plus A proposal uh, for some traffic consulting work and traffic uh, revision work to the front, to the main entrance of the senior center and also the possibility of some trash relocation design and, and coordination. The proposal is an amount of not to exceed $9,525. Is there a second? Second. Second by Larry. Uh, if you could do a roll call, that would be great. Stephanie? Aye. Carl? Yes. Linda? Aye. John? Yes. Stephen Shea? Aye. And Larry? Aye. Great, unanimous. Uh, so moved. Thank you. That's all I have, Steve. <clears throat> okay. Have a good night, Jim. Um, just a little, a little kind of clean up your paperwork. So so we do have an invoice here for uh, BH plus A for the monthly services. I just want to review. Um, we've got the email and the verification for Vertex, uh, the sign off on it. They've reviewed it. Um, it's just a standard invoice for, for, um, for the May services. Um, the invoice is an amount of uh, it, Go ahead, Steve. Yeah. It, it, sorry. sorry it, it's it, it's their their monthly CA and then a, a, another percentage of um, uh, their FF&E uh, right. line item. Right. So the construction admin brings it to forty eight percent, and the FF&E is at forty three percent. Right. Um, and the amount of the invoice is twenty four thousand eight hundred fourteen dollars and uh, eighty cents. Any questions or comments from the board on this uh, purchase order, the invoice? No. Being none. Okay. All right. I'd like to make a motion to approve a porch purchase order or an invoice rather for BH plus A for the May services. Um, the invoice is in the amount of twenty four thousand eight hundred fourteen dollars and eighty cents. Uh, invoices for costs associated associated with construction and administration bringing up to forty eight percent. An FFE in, FF &E in uh, the amount of forty three percent of the invoice. Is uh, there a second? Second. Second by Stephanie. Do you do a roll call, Alicia? Larry? Aye. Carl? Yes. Linda? Aye. John? Yes. Eden? Aye. And Stephanie. Aye. Great. All right. Uh, unanimous. So moved on that invoice. All right. And just one more invoice from um, this one is from Vertex Company for um, services through May, right, Steve? Yes. Um, so just standard uh, OPM services through the month of May, um, all their site work and, and commissioning and, and testing. The amount of the invoice is twenty-two thousand seven hundred seventy-six dollars and sixteen cents. Um, anyone have any questions for Steve or any comments for Steve on the invoice? No. No. Not good. 
All right. I'd like to make a motion to approve the invoice for Vertex companies for May services, including uh, general OPM services, um, some commissioning services from Fitzmaier and Tashi, and testing by UTS of the, uh, the property. The invoice amount is $22,776.16. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Carl. If we could do a roll call. Stephanie? Aye. Larry? Aye. Linda? Aye. Sean? Yes. Stephen? Aye. And Carl? Carl, are you there? Yes. Great. Thank you. All right. Uh, the vote is unanimous, so moved. Great. So I think that closes out uh, the senior center review and all the chair and change orders, invoices. Any other final closing comments or questions? I don't have any. No. No. Okay. So moving on. No. Next item on the agenda. Thanks for the report, Steve. Good. Yeah, that, that was a report. Thanks, Steve. Uh, so next item on the uh, agenda here is the public safety complex. There's no um, change orders or requisitions or anything to cover there. I had been in conversation with Steve, Ke I mean, uh, Kevin Kelly on the WSP update. He said most of the work is complete. I'll update this list here. You know, the water booster pump says complete. Mixing valves complete. Um, the light switches and controls is complete. He was just doing some verification on that work. Um, the only existing, you know, still kind of ongoing item here is the EOC HVAC design. He said he's just, you know, having trouble getting the contractors out there with, with the COVID related, you know, stuff. He said the HVAC contractors have actually been, been busier now doing kind of COVID related work with, with uh, bringing certain HVAC systems up to speed and stuff. So, so he said he was, you know, still tracking with the contractor. So um, I'm going to try to follow that one closer to a little this month and, and get some resolution to that one. Um, now we do have, uh, if you, Steve, if you, if you could give us an update on the gutter brackets and guards, that, that'd be great. Okay. Um, the, the gutter brackets are complete. Uh, the gutter guards, uh, according to Greenwood, are also complete. I uh, I was out there last week, and um, I did. I was able to see on the end of one of the gutter runs a a, a gutter guard. Uh, my my problem right now is is verifying that that everything's installed. Uh, I'm probably going to have to bring a ladder to look at some of those. The lower areas and, and take a look at it. I'm not. I'm not doubting that it is done. Um, I just got to sort of figure a way to to, to look at the entire building. Um, you know, maybe that uh, that guy that runs the drone over the uh, senior center site. We might be able to use him or something. I'm yeah, not right, sure. Right. Bring some binoculars. Yeah, bring some binoculars. Does FD or FD or PD have a drone at this point? Um, Nancy has just mentioned that the town has a drone, so that might be of some use. That would be uh, very good. Okay. Very good. Um, okay, I'll, I'll look Kevin into Kevin that. But, but essentially, um, uh, they were complete uh, last last week. I was over there last Wednesday. Um, the lift was still there, but it was in a position where it was getting hauled out. I checked with the PM from... Uh, from Greenwood, and they said, "Yeah, we're, we're done." So, um, again, I know I, I know all the brackets are done. I've, I've, I've walked around the building. You can see that from below. Okay. Uh, and I think I think I sent you a, a couple photos, Steve. Um, okay. You did, yes, the, 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 yeah. Uh, the card itself. I didn't. I distributed them. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so the guards. So that's that's good news. So yeah, Nancy said she she get someone in touch with you about the drone from the town. So hope we can get a quick review of the guards. Okay. Sure. Great. It's exciting. So that's one uh, one of the big ones. That one's been on the <laughs> agenda for some time. So it's good to close that one out. Yes. Great. 
All right, any questions, comments, or concerns with the, the, the public safety complex project from the board? No. Good. No, I have done. All right, and to wrap it up here is a little update in the library project. So yeah, I mean, the pro library project is looking good. I mean, I haven't heard, heard much. I, I think, you know, this month I'll get in touch with with the parties at B and C about about closing the project and what we need to do there. Um, there was the one item with the generator kind of hanging out there, so I'll, I'll speak with the town and what, what the feeling is on the, on the generator, what, what path we want to take with that. And then uh, I think next meeting we can, we can probably take a vote and, and get things finalized here and wrap it up. Does that sound... Uh, Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> sound fair with everybody good all right any uh, old business that anyone needs to discuss or new business nothing. I don't think so I have nothing to, to bring up no all right there be no comments questions or any any old business new business I'd like to uh, adjourn the meeting at uh, 816 is there a second second, second. All right. <laughs> I give it to Larry. I, I, I didn't hear the other one, so uh, I guess we just do a quick roll call. It'd be great. Sure. So Stephanie. Here. Stephanie. Here. Stephanie. Here. Stephanie. Here. Stephanie. Stephanie. Here. And a yes. And John. Yes. Okay, great. It's unanimous anyway. So. All right, everyone. Have a good night and stay safe out there. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Thank all you. right, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.